Question 16. Laura chooses a number less than 100. She divides it by 3. She then subtracts 11. She then divides this result by 2. Her answer is 10.5. What was the number she started with? The easiest thing to do here is to actually draw a number machine to help me work it out. So let's say she, when she chooses the number, we're going to call that a question mark. So if I start here with my question mark, I'm going to draw some arrows to describe what she's doing to the number. Well, from the question mark, she is dividing by 3. She is then subtracting 11. And then on the third step, she's dividing this result by 2. And her answer is 10.5. So if this is our number machine, after she's divided by 3, subtracting 11, and divided by 2, out pops the other side of the number machine, this 10.5, which is her answer. Now what we need to do is figure out how to get back to the question mark, with the question mark with the mystery number that she picked in the first place. So to get back to the question mark, we've got to go in reverse. So we need to do the opposite of divide by 2, which is times by 2, the opposite of subtract 11, which is add 11, and the opposite of divide by 3, which is times 3. So let's work that out. So 10.5 times 2, well we're doubling it. So double 10 is 20, and double 0.5 is a whole one. Put the two together, you're going to get 21. So double 10.5 is 21. Now we need to add 11. Well, 21 add 11 is 32. And finally, we need to multiply by 3. So it's 32 times 3. Well, if you can't do that in your head, a quick column method would help you. So 3 2 is 6, and 3 3 is 9. So it looks like it's 96. Now we've got back to the beginning that 96 should be our answer so it should be what we're writing there 96 it's a good idea just to go back to the question mark call it 96 and work it back through the front way going forward see if you get 10.5 well 96 divided by 3 let's double check 3 into 9 gives 3 times 3 into 6 gives twice so that would be 32 32 subtract 11, well 32 take away 11, 2 take away 1 is 1, 3 take away 1 is 2, so that makes 21, and 21 divided by 2, well half of 20 is 10, and half of 1 is 0.5, so it does get you back to 10.5, therefore the answer is 96, and we've actually checked that already, so we can give ourselves a tick.